Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, this is Aura Life. Today you're gonna follow along with me to go see Green Velvet at the Conquer Hall in Chicago. Just to let you know that this video is taken after we went to the show. We were so busy getting ready and rushing to get to the show that we didn't get a chance to film an intro video. So here we are. I hope you enjoy the footage and the time that we had. Let's go. Right, right, yeah, Ryan, this was Ryan's first rave um, yes. experience, or first live set, and not a rave.
his set live because you can't appreciate the whole vibe and experience of the technicality of the music unless you're right there with him. Being my <laughs> first ever rave show, yeah. I would watching YouTube videos, it was a lot better in person. Like I would oh, rather yeah. be there in person than do anything on and online. Like we worked our way from the back, my girl Ryan, who <laughs> we were pretty raved out. My daughter said, oh, it's not that type of stuff. We were a little uncomfortable at first, but then once we got down there, we were together, we did good. And what we did is we started from the outer part and we worked our way onto the inner part and we were right there that we could like really literally touch him. Yeah, we, were, we were on the rail, so like there, there literally was no one else in front of us for probably like a good amount. Like probably more than a half of the time we were there. So we got we got there around like 11.30 and then it was over at three. We left a little bit early to miss the trap. 12 to like 2.30, just like, and we were literally right there. He was right in front of us. He, he's a, I would call him, he was like Marby, probably more house and techno-y. Okay. Like a mix of house, like, to me, traditional house and techno. Even songs that I knew of his that were my favorites, you know, seeing it in person really enhanced even just the sound. Like the sound is different when it comes out yeah. than it is when you're like listening to it on your headphones, you know, yeah, like. It was amazing. It's a whole drag. different thing. My best advice for me, to people who have never been in that type of scene because we're in, Ryan was the first, this Where is like her first. Shoes. Her first race. Yeah. <laughs> Wear good shoes and pants. And pants, yeah. She had some high, like thigh high boots on, and, and she was doing well. <laughs> and for, for some time. For yeah. like, like for hours, okay? It was the last two hours, you're like, yeah, I gotta take these off. I would watch my dress attire so you feel comfortable in wherever you're going to, um, because there were like a lot more men that were there than there were females, and people were kind of looking at us like, what are you guys doing? But then we found a group of people that had went to EDC, and they kind of understood us. So we kind of stood next to them, and we were doing our thing to collaborate. There weren't a lot of people. There was no exchange of candy or anything like that whatsoever. Um, it was it more- to maybe you wearing candy either. I mean, yeah. Even I, the ravey people weren't, which yeah. I think my piece of advice is like, know where you're going and this, 
like know the scene and environment you're going in. Right. Like there's some, especially in Chicago, there's a difference in in the Midwest when it comes to raves. Yes. That it's not as ravey as it is probably in the East Coast and the West Coast, unless it's at a festival. Then that's kind of when people can kind of let loose a little bit. Right. But even then, you're gonna see a bigger population of people just wearing regular clothes. So like one of the things I was telling them, I was like, you guys, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a rave, you know, it's just like a show. We wanted to be. And, we yeah. <laughs> and so we did go a little bit more out there with our outfits than other people, but then there were like a, a small group of people who did dress up a little bit more. He played I, from start to finish, from 9, 8, 9 no p.m. Break. to 3 a.m. With no break, he had like all of his family, his friends there, yeah. and like, his and he mom. was he was situated in the middle of the venue, which I thought was unique, so people could kind of surround him. He wasn't like was. off to you know on a stage or something like, you know, you there was very intimate, like you could reach out literally yeah. and, and touch him. And he was him. giving yeah. people high five. He took a couple of people's cameras that had offered Bumped. and bumped. Yeah. I'm sorry, and then like took pictures and stuff. His mother. Let me tell you, his mother came out and was singing, and it was just like, yeah. oh my god, it was phenomenal. Like to see. live and, vocals, and she was like getting yeah, it, she like was she was, she was top. raving it, and I just, I had never seen that. And before. they had dancers like behind him they on the raving. stage. The and dancers were really, really cool. cool. Yeah, it was just a really fog good machines. vibe. Like it was fog like, machines. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah with that the laser bubbles light was and really, stuff. Really nice. Yeah, it was really hot in there. We 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 didn't bring our fans, and we like regretted it because it was everybody was sweaty. Yeah. Um, but it also was like chill too. Like it, like people were dancing, but it was just like okay, like you this is the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't have to dance the whole time. Right. This is the vibe. Everyone was just having a really good time. That was the one thing I didn't like. It just wasn't too much of like the plur, which I was really hoping. But which, I, it's a different. Yeah, it's not the rave community. It's just not the rave community. Yeah. So that's one thing that I just have to like be new. I have to learn. So. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, but anyway, we, we had a really good time. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to see Green Velvet is because at EDC we didn't get a chance to see him. Yeah. Kinetic Field was shut down and he was supposed to do um, a collab set with Claude Von Stroke. And we were gonna actually stay there. Of course, everybody knows that Kinetic Field was shut down. It's kind of been crazy this summer because we've gotten a chance to see the artists that we didn't get a chance to see yeah. at at EDC and it's almost been like fate. We got to see Cascade and now we got to see Green Velvet. So yeah. like, it's really been a great yeah. year for that. I was scared a little bit. Like he had this green mohawk and he had these goggle glasses on. I was like, oh, he's so scared. <laughs> Yeah, but no, he was really good. <laughs> he Honestly, was so nice. yeah, he was. He was, so a, he nice. was so nice, and you could tell he really loves what he does. And he, he was loves it. Getting into the music and like the whole set and everything, so. I mean, honestly, hands down, I would see him again. Like, Absolutely. Every time I see him on a lineup, I'm not missing him. Right. Like, I'm gonna wear better shoes. But I would love to see him. And she's gonna wear better shoes, and we're gonna dress for the occasion. We're gonna dress to impress. We even wanna get up on that stage. We're gonna dress for the occasion. Just wanna let you know what our experience is, and we hope that you subscribe to our channel. Um, subscribe, subscribe right here. Right, and we'll be expecting more things from Rocket, who's our newest friend. Yay. Bye, guys. See you Bye. later. Bye. I see.